welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Melissa. So for the materials, we need a gray color of yarn, a crochet hook three millimeters. We also need safety pins, scrap yarn, a black and a white one, scissors, stitch marker, tapestry needle, and cotton stuffing. We first crochet the body of the elephant. So make a loop. Now chain two and into the second stitch of this chain, insert six single crochets. So insert six single crochets into the same stitch. Our first round is complete, so remember to insert your stitch marker. There is, this will always remind us when the round comes to an end. For the second round, insert will be increasing, so insert two single crochets into the first stitch and two single crochets into the second stitch. So this is our repetition for each stitch. Insert two single crochets in each and every stitch, and this will give us a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. So continue this way. Third round. Make a single crochet into the first stitch, followed by two single crochets into the next stitch. So we are increasing in each and every second stitch. So insert two single crochets in that stitch. Then repeat again a single crochet, followed by two single crochets into the next stitch. Continue this way up to the end and we should be having a total of 18 stitches. We are now into the fourth round. So insert a single crochet, followed by another single crochet to the second stitch, and we increase in the third stitch. So in this stitch, insert two single crochets in the same stitch. Repeat this again. So one single crochet into the, that first stitch, followed by a single crochet into that second stitch. And to this third stitch, insert two single crochets. So that's our repetition for the whole round. And by the time we are done, we should have a total of 24 stitches. We are now into our fifth round. We're still increasing, so make a single crochet in the first stitch, followed by another single crochet, then another single crochet into the next stitch.
we are done increasing. So what we are doing, we're just inserting a single crochet in each and every stitch. So sixth round, uh, a single crochet, seventh round, a single crochet, eighth round, a single crochet in each stitch, ninth round, a single crochet in each stitch. Each round should total up to 30 stitches. So continue this way, inserting a stitch in every, a single crochet in every stitch. We are now done. And this is how it looks like. So 10th round, we start decreasing. So insert a single crochet, followed by another single crochet. And in the third stitch, a single crochet. Then our fourth stitch. And our fifth stitch, we decrease. So we make a single crochet decrease, and that's how it's done. So we repeat this, a single crochet, another single crochet into the next stitch, and into the third stitch, a single crochet, then the fourth stitch and the fifth stitch, we decrease. So we make a single crochet decrease. Repeat this all the way around and your stitches should total up to 24. Round 10 is done. We are now into our round 11. We're still decreasing. So make a single crochet into the first stitch. Then another single crochet into the second stitch. And this time around, we are decreasing the third in the third and the fourth stitch. So you make a single crochet decrease. Another single crochet, followed by another single crochet. Then two, uh, then the third and the fourth stitch we decrease. So continue this way up to the end. Now we are in our 12th round and we're still decreasing. So we're decreasing in every second. That's our second one and the third stitch. So a single crochet in the first stitch after that, after the decrease, followed by a single crochet decrease. This is what we are repeating all the way around. So a single crochet, then a single crochet decrease in the second and third stitch. This is our last round for the body, for this piece. So continue decreasing. So the last two stitches are a decrease. So that and that we decrease and our stitches totals up to 12 stitches. So chain one to secure and remove, you can now remove your stitch marker. We don't need it. We are done with this piece. Uh, cut your yarn now and leave enough yarn for closing the opening. So pull that yarn through to secure. We'll be now stuffing our piece. When you're done stuffing, we can now weave the opening. So close this opening and this is how 
I seal it. So cut the yarn and the body of the elephant is now complete. We are now crocheting the legs of the elephant. So make a loop. Then chain two and insert uh, six single crochets into the second stitch of this chain. So insert six single crochets into this stitch. So this is our first round. For the second round, we'll be inserting a single crochet into the first stitch. So you make a single crochet followed by another single crochet. So we're inserting a single crochet in each and every stitch. So in total, you should have just six single crochets. That's the leg. So make four pieces just the same way. And then next we need to stuff this leg. So get a small piece of gray yarn and uh, stuff the leg with this yarn, just a scrap yarn. Do the same thing to all the four pieces of leg. Now that your legs are done, we need to weave them, uh, to sew them onto the body. But first, uh, use your safety pins to position them evenly where you'll be sewing them. Next is the trunk of the elephant and this goes by very fast like the legs. 
So make a loop, then chain two, and in the second loop, uh, second stitch of the chain, uh, make six single crochets. You need to single crochet in the back loop. So like for this stitch, you see we have those two loops, the front one and the back one. So we pick the back loop and that's where we're inserting our single crochet. For the second stitch, the same thing, pick only the back loop and make a single crochet. For the third stitch, same thing, you only insert a single crochet in the back loop. For that stitch, the same thing, just doing that all the way around for this round. And your stitches remain six, so you still have six stitches at the end of that round. And now for the third round, we need to insert a single crochet, not in the back loop, but in the normal both you pick both loops with your hook and then insert a single crochet. This is the fourth round, we do the same thing, just a single crochet in each stitch. So we are on the last chain, a stitch, we inserted the last stitch, so chain one, then cut your yarn. Leave a piece for weaving. So you're done with the trunk. That's how the trunk looks. And I'll sew your trunk.
for the eyes we are using both the white and the black color of yarn so you begin with the black one The trunk and the eyes are now complete. Let's now crochet the ears. So make a loop. Then chain two. And insert six single crochets into the second stage of the chain. Second round, we are inserting two single crochets in each and every stage. So we are increasing. Make two single crochets in the first stitch and every other stitch. You should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. Third round, we're still increasing. So insert one single crochet in the first stitch, followed by two single crochets into the next stitch. So one single crochet into that stitch and two single crochets into the next one. Continue this way all the way around. And you should have a total of 18 stitches. Fourth round, still an increase. So make a single crochet into the first stitch, followed by another single crochet. And into our third stitch, we insert two single crochets into the same stitch. That's our repetition all the way around. So these are all the rounds we need for the ears. Now fold your ear, fold it this way, and then we need to make a slip stitch. You pick from both sides, a stitch from both sides, and slip stitch. So in every stitch from both sides, then make a slip stitch. Pick a stitch from each and every side and make a slip stitch. our last stitches so make a slip stitch then chain one to secure so 
So make another ear the same way. Now we'll be attaching our ear like I did on the first ear. So between the third and the fourth and the tenth round of the body, that's where we'll be attaching. Now let's do the tail, so make a loop, then chain five. And add one. Then in the second stitch of that chain, make a slip stitch and in every other stitch following stitch insert a slip stitch so five slip stitches all the way through that row now chain one just to secure and cut off your yarn leave a small piece there so pull it through and now we need to make a knot at the end. So uh, holding to both yarns, make a knot. So cut the rest, leaving a small piece at the end. Around the sixth round there, we weave our tail. So your cute mini elephant is now complete. So have fun creating your own. And thank you so much for watching.